Hello everyone, Luis here. Today we're gonna have a look on how to run Baldur's Gate 3 on a Mac, uh, actually running the Windows version so that you can play the final game ahead of it being uh, really released on the Mac. So let's get to it. It's fairly easy, we're gonna be using Whiskey. So I have it here. So Whiskey is developed to help us out uh, uh, without having to do a lot of work creating bottles. It's a fairly easy GUI type approach on uh, for Mac OS on creating basically your wine type bottles. Uh, if you don't know what wine bottles are, don't bother too much. You can always Google or search for that. You will find a lot of information on the web. Uh, but basically, this is going to make our life, uh, our lives, uh, way easier. Mm. So kudos to this guy. Go uh, and give him some uh, love as well. So you will need, of course, uh, to be on GitHub, uh, and I'm already signed in so that you can uh, download the version. And you see here on the releases, you have the latest version. And if you click there, you will be able to download. So I'm gonna download Whiskey as well. I'll just go there, save it as wherever you like. I like to save it on downloads and then later I can clean that up if I need to. Yeah, so that's gonna be taken care of. It's kind of blocked now, but I will continue to download. You know, it's not known, so you might get that error as well on your end. All right, so let's go through the installation of Whiskey so that we can use it and, and use it to run games, but also in this case, uh, focused on uh, running Windows version of Baldur's Gate 3. So download the Whiskey, unpacked. I'm gonna just copy it here. So, Command C, I'm gonna go into Applications, I'm gonna add it there, so Command V. Now I'm gonna run the application. It's gonna complain and say, are you sure this has been downloaded from the web? Apple hasn't uh, checked completely this software, so but nothing was detected as well. I've been malicious, so you're fairly good to go. So I'll click open. Now it's asking me in Whiskey, I have Rosetta installed, but I don't have GPTK installed yet. So it's gonna go and find uh, the gaming, the game porting toolkit from Apple to install. So I'll click next. It's gonna download that one automatically from the web for me on this new version. Great, so the setup is done, all ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a bottle. I'm gonna call it Steam Win 10. Not gonna change anything, not gonna change anything on the bottle path as well, and just create. So give it some time, it's gonna do its thing. And we're good to go. So now you would go towards the next step, which is then installing Steam and installing the game. So let's go through those steps as well. So let's go to Steam on the web. Uh, and you can go there on that link uh, or just uh, Google Steam and you will get there on the download part. And you see it will, as I'm in the Mac, it will ask if I want to install Steam for the Mac and I don't want that, I have that already. But I'll, I also want to have it for Windows. So just click here. And again, it's gonna give me the option to download the EXE version, so the Windows version. So I'm gonna save that have that also downloaded there now. You can see it on my folder, yeah? So, you can go ahead and run um, if you prefer and then find your downloaded Steam app for Windows and run it from there, from the downloads 
I actually prefer to go into the drive C first and then let me open a new finder window here and then I prefer actually to take the steam exe and copy it in directly on my C drive and then I'm gonna actually run it from there so if I go back to my whiskey I can click on programs uh, and see it's not showing up right now it hasn't refreshed to no. know what I can do is I can just go run click on steam setup and run that and what this is going to do is going to actually ask to install steam for you within that bottle so you're just going to do it as you would on windows uh, and just install it into the bottle and now you're going to run steam and of course as steam always does when you start it on the day it's always going to check and update if there's necessary updates to be made so just let it do its thing and then after that of course uh, you're just going to go in and log in into your steam account uh, and i'm not going to show you how to do that but i think everyone that uses steam knows very well how to get into their accounts yeah? so I'll let that finish and i'll come back with you in a sec you saw the process here pretty easy i mean get into your account find your game install your game download if you need and then that's gonna happen i'm gonna stop here and come back once it's all done all right so now we're back i've closed uh, actually my steam once i've installed Baldur's gate 3 and when I open again whiskey, you see now I have within the bottle, I have a little icon. If I want to run Steam directly again, I can just click on that and click run. I'm actually not going to do that because if I try to run Baldur's Gate 3 directly when Steam is open, it won't work. Uh, it won't uh, launch the Larian uh, interface and therefore you cannot get to the game. So go back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually click on run. It's going to open uh, all my folders and I have drive C already there selected. So I'm going to double click on program files x86. I'm going to find steam. That's where steam is now installed. I'm going to go into steam and then what I want to look for if I scroll down steam apps is where normally steam will be installing your games unless you have changed though go into common and you see i have already installed also jedi fallen order well, that's something for another time and what you can do is uh, either navigate to the boulders gate as i do it all the time what i've done is i've actually dragged it here and created a just a little shortcut for myself so i can click there go into bim and within bin you want to select baldur's gate dx11 exe and that's the one you're going to run actually and then that's it double click or open and there you go what's going to happen now is that the game will just run and there we are so if you do however uh wanna use uh save files across mac and windows uh, that uh, synchronization is not going to be working for you so i'm going to show you after this um, how you can do that by copying your story folder from windows here and back and forth if you really want to be switching machines all the time i actually started playing uh, on my desktop and that's a pc 
but then when I'm on the road, I use the Mac. Uh, so then I do copy back and forth myself. Mm. All right, we're in the game. And now you can also play with the resolution. So in my case, I like to have it on, uh, on the traditional uh, display aspect ratio to get it full screen. And I actually want to have it in a higher resolution. And you can also choose the refresh rate. I like to keep mine in 60 hertz. Uh, I don't need more than that, but I like to have most of the visuals in, in a very high setting. So I'll go back and just gonna go. You see, I have my load, all my games here, uh, but not to spoil too much. Let me try to bring something right from the beginning here. So that you can just see how it looks inside the uh, Mac OS. And by the way, I have not mentioned, but you want to be on Sonoma. You want to be on the latest version of uh, Mac so that this is for sure to work. And it's very easy. You can just sign up for the beta within your settings interface uh, under software update and you can just get Sonoma right away. But you want to do that before all of this, of course. Okay, and here we are, and you can see, yeah, it runs. Uh, even in all the full screen glory, with quite the amount of good uh, settings and view and you see it's quite fluid uh, so it's a pretty good experience i've been playing here quite far in the game and it just works yeah. all right uh, let's move on i'll show you how i get my saves to work across uh, the two systems by copying the files over if you're not interested in that you can leave the video now I would appreciate if this helped you in any way. Well, you know what to do to help me on the other end. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe. Peace. Take care, guys. You can always go to open the C drive itself. And here you also have your users uh, folder. So you can go there. Then go into crossover. From there, you can go into app data, so A P P D D A T A. Open that one. Go into local, and there you should find this folder called Larian Studios. And here you should find then your game, Baldur's Gate files. And here you will have your profiles. Go into public and there you should find your save games. And if you're playing story, that's what you're going to get. So your save games are actually on this folder here. As you can see, I have plenty of them. So what I do is I take this and put in here as a shortcut to make it easy for me. And then I would copy uh, from Windows, for example, I would copy that same folder from Windows uh, onto an external drive. You can see it here. Of course, from there, I would select everything, copy all, and then just uh, overwrite on this folder here. And then, of course, when you restart the game on your Mac uh, by going to run and finding that uh, starter file here and opening it, then the game would have your save files as well there. And then if you want to do the process on the other way around, take it from here, copy it to an external folder somewhere take it to your Windows machine and copy it there instead and overwrite over there. So that's the way to go back and forth on uh, 
cross saves on a manual way. Thank you and uh, wish you a great time.